Howdy, howdy again. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about my Ollie settings, uh, why it looks like it does, why it does what it does. Um, and we're going to go over that. So this is a fresh zip of Ollie right off the site. Uh, and when you get it and open it, it looks like this. So we're going to make a new folder and we're going to call it Ollie. We're going to drop this junk in there. And then we're going to open the folder. You run Ollie. Of course, it's going to ask you that because Windows 7 or 8, any of them do it. And it starts out this tiny little window. Um, the status down here is, well, it's down here and not up here where I like it. Um, so let's make this a little bigger so we can see what we're dealing with. First of all. And that's probably good. And now let's actually close it. So after you run it the first time, you get this little INI file. So first we're going to open this and set status and toolbar to 1. Save it. And what that's going to do is, well, put our status from here up to here where I like it. You don't have to do that, but that's how mine is. It's just easier to see for me. Um, I don't know. I just like it there. And now let's open test. So you see that it's analyzing all of these files. Great. We can try to skip them by spamming space, but then when it does load, you get this nice assemble window in your way. CPU is all tiny. We want it to be maximized. There's no color. Uh, but Ollie has done some good. So it shows you jump paths. It shows you, well, it shows you jump paths. It doesn't show jump landings, the little carrot landings, which I think it should, but let's do Control A and analyze. Now it does. Since it wasn't analyzed, it didn't exactly know how to show it. So, shows jump paths. Uh, I must have skipped an analysis of the main module, which is another like downside. Um, and it does actually gray out windows that you're not focused on. Uh, you don't want to know how long I used Ollie with no jump markers uh, or jump. Uh, destination markers, uh, red if it wasn't taken, gray if it was, uh, no um, carrots to show that there was even a jump landing, um, didn't even have this little red mark that showed that there was a jump, um, which we could go through and disable all of this and I could show you what it looked like before, but I'm not going to waste the time to do that. But I used it like that for years. I didn't know you could customize it until, well, I figured it out. Um, by reading through their very detailed, very de well documented options. You know, they, they tell you everything you don't need to know. Um, like, you've got code as a main menu item, you got a debugging, analysis, search, CPU, directories, errors and warnings, appearance, miscellaneous. But then within each one of them, you get these sub menus. And does anybody really know what's in all of them? I, I mean, I. I still have to, like, I know where a lot of things are, but quite often I'm in here going, oh, now where was that at? Because sometimes I want to start at system breakpoint. I want to start at the entry point of the main module. I want to start at win main if location is known. Um, sometimes I don't want it to pause. Um, <coughs> but default is win main. That's fine. And when attaching an application, make first pause that, well, no pause, system breakpoint, application code. We can leave these all default because in my regular setup, they're default. You got your events. Okay, cool. Exceptions. Now, this is an important one. People are always asking me, hey, I opened this file, and down here at the bottom status, it says exception, blah, 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 blah. press like 18 keys plus F9 to ignore or to pass to executable or some crap like that. 
Um, so you can do two things. Click ignore also the following. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Fs. And check that. So what that's going to do is say any exception that you don't know how to uh, process or handle, pass it to the EXE. If they don't want to deal with it, pass it to the unhandled exception filter because that's what they would do. And it will even log them for you if you want. Okay, cool, whatever. So I'm actually going to reload this. Okay, and I'm just going to let it analyze. Okay, that's, this takes forever. This is great. We'd, we'd love to get into doing some reverse engineering or, you know, reading of anything. But no, we're just going to wait. Okay, cool. Now, you notice that it's analyzed everything. It's all analyzed. Okay. What if it didn't analyze anything? So, w one plus to letting it do everything is now if I restart it, it will just be ready because it just loads the UDDs. Over time, you collect UDDs. Well, it looks like this. Default settings of Ollie does not have a UDDs folder. So let's make a folder, UDDs. Anything that says UDD goes in the folder. Sure, we could just delete them and then let all you regenerate them but we're just going to move them in there and now options directories UDDs our newly created folder and while we're at it we might as well make one for function UDLs and plugins why not New folder, UDLs. New folder, plugins. All right. Back in Ollie, back to the directories, UDLs, and plugins. Good to go. So now, any UDD that it makes, which is Ollie's an analysis files, basically. Uh, it'll just throw in there. And if one's out of date or different, it will warn you and say, hey, you should probably reanalyze because the actual bytes of this DLL or program don't match what I have. Okay, cool. So let's look at, the, look at that analysis thing. Okay, so let's turn automatic off. Why not? Let's reload. So sometimes... Well, that didn't work. I think it's because we already have UDDs. It's not actually analyzing, it's loading the UDDs. Okay, so we're going to actually delete all of the UDDs that it's already made and do this. So when you first load a program, if it's not analyzing, it looks like this. Ugly. To analyze things, you just hold control and press A for whatever module you're in. Or you can right click, analysis, analyze code. Hey, we can even remove it if we want. You can go back. We can analyze and we can remove it from just a section, which you quite often need to do. Remove analysis from section. So the rest of it's still analyzed, but this section was untouched. If <coughs> Ollie improperly analyzes something, which it can do and sometimes does, as you saw in the last video, you're going to want to tell it, hey, this section, don't analyze it. Okay, so moving on. Uh, colors. Right click. Appearance. Highlighting. Jumps and calls. There you go. So much better. So pretty. Okay. Now, one more thing about analysis main module is what I use it's just what I use and in advanced I tell it to decode cascaded ifs as switches 
this can cause a few issues and sometimes I turn it off but generally it's on um, that all comes uh, enabled for you now which is good so I think that's okay mm, so if we close Ollie yep whatever and we delete this one UDD from the one file that we analyzed ourselves, we'll see that Ollie will automatically analyze just the main module. We've got all these other modules, and if we go into one, and we see that it's not analyzed, we can just analyze it really quick, one at a time, as you need them, because most likely you're not even going to look at all the DLLs of every single thing that you ever disassemble just not gonna happen and you can turn this off yeah I know you're gonna kill my program I don't care now it shouldn't warn us cool okay so <clears throat> we've got a UDDs folder and it stores them there we've got UDLs which is like function libraries and a plugins folder uh, I don't have I think I have one plugin but I don't think I even use it anymore um, so yeah that's about it in a nutshell because uh, now it's nice and pretty the ready's up here it gives us analysis of the main module uh, our colors already there we're good to go okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to zip this folder and I'm gonna toss it in my Dropbox There's a RAR, and here comes a Dropbox folder. Nope, uh, let's just do. I will share that folder with the world, and I will put all the related things in it. So now, when you download Ollie, you will have all the settings that I have and you will be good to go. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. This video is, I can't believe it's almost 13 minutes long. Uh, it's really not that in depth. I kind of feel like I'm forgetting something, but it must not be important. Or it was a lie. Don't need that anymore. Um, yeah, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. I try to respond to any comments that need responding and I read almost all of them uh, actually at this point all of them um, yeah um, right so tomorrow we are going to tear apart the dummy exe with Ida like we did with Ollie in the last video and then we are going to make a program use those functions to do something useful and if we need to recap um, like very slowly what we looked at in those in in that dummy exe like line by line we can or we can just move on to something else I've got one other thing in mind and then we might need some suggest suggestions uh, but anyways, I'm going to end this video, upload it, see what you guys say, and uh, yeah, grab Ollie out of the Dropbox, and you'll be set. Thanks for watching.